completely understand what you're saying about no one being satisfied with Champions League, and I think that's certainly true among the fans as well. But just how important is it for the process you're going through and the development of this team that you have now got the Champions League, and what will it mean for the next step? Yeah, it's very important um, as a club. You know, where we want to compete, we want to be the biggest stage uh, for our reputation, for our pride, financially very important, for our players to grow that experience as well, that for most of them is going to be something that they haven't done in their career. So we don't have 20 players there that they play Champions League. That's our reality. <laughs> so it's another step, but that step is not enough. And, uh, and we all know that. And uh, that's what we have to aim for. Was that step necessary ahead of the summer and the investment that's going to be needed? It's very helpful, that's for sure, yes. And one thing about the City game, watching it, they've got Haaland, Kanji, Diaz, Stones, Rodri. These guys are huge, like, physically, six foot plus, and you can see the strength of them. I wonder if that's maybe between the two teams an area you think where Arsenal still need to get better, physicality. Yes, yeah, centimetre by centimetre on the day, yes, but it takes time to build the, the, the perfect team. You know, you don't do it in one, two, or three. It's seven years of a process with with a lot of good decisions, and we are trying to do something different. But you have to, you cannot copy paste because what it was because at the Emirates we played the same, uh, and we could have beat them. But at the end we didn't. Why? Because when they raised that level again a little bit more, boom, they took the game and the individual moments, and and that's what we have to recognize, and don't accept, don't accept it. You've talked about Man City being at another level, and it's not just Arsenal, it's on another level to every other team, really. How do you, how do you actually get to that level to, to match Man City? I think there are levels. I think we have moments that we play to a different level. I think Man City are moments that they play to a different level, and Liverpool, they can take the game to a different level. It's when that happens that is important. It's on the day are you able to raise that level on this occasion, and, um, and that's what we didn't do the other day. When you look at your squad, I mean, you, you pick pretty much the same team every week, you know, give or take a couple. Have you almost not got the resources to, to match a club like City when they're playing, when they've got sort of eight international stars on the bench? I am really happy with the players that, are, that I have, what they are achieving, the way they are evolving, and we know that we still have a lot to do. That's what I'm saying, that we cannot accept because we still have a, a lot to do and it's in front of us and, and we can make it happen. Gary? Josh was here over the sort of last week. And just did, would you have sort of spoke to him about the season and also perhaps your plans for the summer and, and in light of where you might have thought you were earlier mm -hmm. in the season now you are now, and would you have spoken to him and what, what, what type of things would you be looking for going forward? Yes, but especially obviously he's very interested to understand uh, what we're doing every single day. He's fully committed to to what we do. He's completely on it. Uh, he understands the sports. He understands football. He understands moment better than anybody because he has experience from many other sports as well. And it's great to have him around. You know the way he supports everybody, the way he interacts with everybody. Um, He's really special. He's extremely confident and comfortable around the place, and um, and we're gonna keep going. And and we all know that they want to win, and they want us to win. And uh, and this is the aim. Is there anything he might have said to you that from his experiences in his other sports that that would kind of you could take on board? That we are in the right track. Let's keep doing what we're doing uh, and doing the same and better every day. Let's just go back to Sam's question about the physicality. When you look back to the Arsenal old teams, we had Vieira, Bergkamp, very physical players, and then the team that you played in, they were slightly, slight, Arsenal seemed to move to a slightly slighter player, Fabregas, Nasri, didn't have the same build, yeah. do, do, and, and, and they see the Manchester United bullied them. Do, do you feel that's perhaps the way the Premier League has gone? You do need a few brutes every now and again to cope with certain types of games. It's a great question. Do you think that you might go that direction? At maybe a hundred points, playing with Clichy, Fernandinho, David Silva, Bernardo Silva, Kun Agüero, Sterling, Leroy Sané, hundred points. Xavi, Iniesta, Messi, Pedro, six titles. Good players, <laughs> incredible players in the right moment, step up for the day, love what they do, create the right chemistry, is a lot of things. You have them and they are two meters tall like this, even better. 
<laughs> Great. But then you say, are they good enough technically? Are they sharp enough? Can they turn? <laughs> yeah. The perfect machine. That's what we all want. Tw give me 24 of those. <laughs> and every day I can reset them. I say, for tomorrow, you're going to do this. Perfect. But it doesn't work. But I think we are looking for the perfect squad, and, and, and hopefully we can find it. Mike. Mikel, what sort of reception would you like the fans to give Aubameyang tomorrow night? Sorry? What sort of reception would you like the fans to give Aubameyang tomorrow night? I pay him, uh, say thank you, pay him the respect and gratitude for what he was. He was an incredible player for us, scored a lot of goals. He was our captain and, and he deserves that. Do you remember his time at the club, his contribution? Not so much for the way it ended, but <coughs> he won you, scored the goals that won you the FA Cup? Yes, for sure. That's what I said. I say thank you and be grateful.